So I'm going to show you a really lovely recipe for salmon and salmon is a very, very popular fish. I'm using some of the Simply Better organic Irish salmon, Darren. So there's no bones in it. There is skin, so I've removed the skin. I'm going to show you this now, but I'm going to put some sesame seeds on it and do a nice little glaze, stir fry vegetables and some rice. Really simple, really quick. This will work well with monkfish, with some cod, with some hake. It'll work well with lots of different fish, even some trout. So salmon, uh, make sure you're getting the organic Irish salmon. That's really, really important. Okay, sesame seeds, we black and white. I'm going to heat the pan. I'm going to turn on my wok. It's a really quick recipe. This is a beautiful thing about fish. And I'm so happy because I see more and more people enjoying and eating fish, which is great. And um, salmon, of course, it's always very popular, but why not experiment with monkfish, hake, haddock, all these varieties of fish, which is plentiful. You know, we're an island. We should be eating more fish. So I'm going to heat the pan. I'm using some rapeseed oil. I should have said that the wok is just for my stir fry vegetables. So I am going to, so there's no bones in this. So I've just removed the skin from the salmon and I'm just going to literally, I'm not going to put any egg or anything like that. I'm just going to literally press and put that nice little kind of a crust on one side of the actual salmon. Can you see that there, Matt? Lovely. So black and white sesame seeds, I should have said that the black sesame seeds are not as easy to get, to be honest with you. So the white sesame seeds will work well. So I just want to hear that nice little sizzle. And I'm going to do the same for this, flip it over and the moisture of the salmon should hold this together. So white sesame seeds will work well. Black sesame seeds, they're a little bit stronger, if I'm being honest with you. I like the texture of them, I really do. And uh, you can um, you can, you can uh, just do it with the white sesame seeds, or there's another seed called an onion seed you could use. Now you've had raw fish in that, so you can either use it again once you keep it in the fridge, and you make sure that you label it that you had raw fish. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a nice little kind of like a, a dressing to go with this. And so really, or a glaze, you can call it. So I'm going to use a little bit of honey. So I'm using some honey. This is from Malivan Foods. They're based in Kilkenny. Okay, you could use maple syrup. This is uh, a dressing that uh, we've launched, as so we, the Simply Better team, soya and ginger. And it's made from a company called Full On Foods. So we're going to put, it's a nice little bit of a kick into this now. And I'm going to use some of this nice soya and ginger. So you're probably wondering why you're using the two. I like the soya in this, so I do. And the ginger gives a really nice kick. Always give it a good shake. And then some lime. Because if I don't use lime, it's going to be a little bit too sweet with the... Um, oh, I forgot I was going to put a little bit of lime zest into this. So just before I cut it and put the juice in. So if I don't use lime, it's going to be too sweet. Now, just watching the salmon. You're kind of getting a nice little crust. I should have said that the pan is on low. Now I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So a nice little bit of lime zest and then some juice. So just cut the limes in half. Now these are really big limes. I'm going to use probably just half and then I'll see how I go with this. Now you can make extra of this dressing and keep in a little killer jar or an airtight container or a Tupperware, which will be perfect. Mix this all together. Just get a spoon, give it a little mix. And then we're going to turn this over now in a minute. So the honey will always sink to the bottom. So you can chop, chop a little bit of coriander if you want to just give it a really good mix through. Actually, this dressing that I'm doing, guys, is really nice for chicken breasts. So it is. So let's have a little look here. Nice. And turn it over now. Get a nice little bit of color. And you can see, if you look here, you can see the way the fish is, is, is not too thick, so it's going to cook actually very, very fast. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to turn this down because I don't want it to be overcooked. And I'm going to literally pour on maybe half of this dressing and we'll see how we go. So give it a final mix. Just drizzle this over. It's going to skite. Don't worry about that. That's the lime juice. Just give it a really good mix. So I'll probably just, might have made it a little bit too much, but we'll see how we go along. And I will flip that over there and that should be a nice sauce. Okay, in the wok, we are gonna put in this beautiful vegetable. It's called pok choy and can be grown in Ireland, which is wonderful. It's an oriental green and look at how pretty that is. Like it's, it's beautiful. Uh, a little bit of red pepper, which I've cut roughly the length of my small finger. And then a couple of peas, some frozen peas. So just a very, very quick kind of stir fry with this. For me, it was the whole technique of doing the dressing, the sesame, the salmon. That for me was the star of the show. So I'll put in the peppers first. Good hot oil. So I lift that first of all. Then we're going to put in our pok choy. Doesn't take long 
to do this frozen peas just literally tuck some out of the freezer uh, you can use some courgettes if you want to and this is really important I want to show you what steam frying is turn up the wok roughly a spoonful of water that's all some salt and then what I'll do because I have those lovely dressings I'm going to use some of that nice dressing the soya and ginger so we're going to keep everything really nice and fresh that's really important so cooked really really fast back onto our salmon let's have a little look at this gorgeous getting a nice little bit of color flip it over okay so you can you're okay to eat salmon a little bit pink in the center okay some people like that and um, you can cook it however way you like it but it's the whole technique of sealing it in good hot pan a little bit of rapeseed oil and that's why i like to use irish rapeseed oil is it as good as olive oil totally different olive oil is a very unique product but for me we're supporting irish farmers for example the pok choy is grown in ireland the fish is organically farmed in ireland and then we have our rapeseed oil so we're trying to use as much irish as much seasonal produce as possible now this is getting a nice color i'm actually happy with that now I thought it was getting a little bit anemic looking so I'll just keep it on that side for a moment and I can always pour some of the marinade or what I could do because I have it made why not put it into my vegetables you're wasting nothing and you know where I live in Cav and we don't waste anything Amel is nodding her head aren't you <laughs> so just give it a little guy this is my wok part of my cookware collection just let it cook really really fast uh, you can make uh, curries in that you can obviously do stir fries that's what it is you can make soups it's a great uh, wok same as the pans they work on induction they work on electric and they work on also gas what i'm using here whereas in my house just in front of my studio i am um, i use induction which i love too so that's it more or less done a little bit of uh, um rice we're going to serve at this you may as well just use this up it's a shame to waste it just give it a final blast last wee bit in here you could put coriander into that you could put chili into that i should have said i suppose there's chili and dressing so you don't need need to um add any more one more final shake and that's our lovely stir fry thanks Anilla. so it's uh the pok choy there's a nice bit of texture nice bit of crunch to that you could use some baby spinach and then we're going to serve it up so this is a super quick recipe and remember to experiment with cod or monkfish or, or different fish i'm using salmon salmon is always so popular so it is just flip that over there and it doesn't take long to cook there's no bones in this i've removed the skin you can cook it with the skin on you've seen me doing that for other recipes and i'm just going to serve it with a little bit of steamed rice so normally when we steam some rice i put in a little bit of butter and um, into the water and then also um about half a stock cube and that could be chicken or vegetable stock cube it's up to you you know you can just put salt into the water if you want to yeah so the next thing we'll do is we'll just get our nice piece of salmon i think one is enough so we'll just literally arrange that there and then that lovely kind of dressing which is beautifully reduced oh i'm going to show you we tip actually i'll move that out of the way here so see the way this is reduced here what we can do to make a little sauce just a splash of water okay just around bring it back to the boil See the way you've got that nice kind of sticky now if you think it's too thick add a little bit more water there we go that nice beautiful and then our vegetables and that's it it's as easy as that i'll actually use just the tongs when i have them in my hand so the pok choy i've cut the red um pepper into the strips you can use red green and yellow and then the peas just some frozen peas you can use fresh if you want to and that's it i want to i want to just showcase that beautiful vegetable that pok choy i think we've come a long way in ireland i just wipe the plate just get a little tea towel here you know to be able to grow that beautiful beautiful pok choy a little bit of rice potatoes whatever you want and that really nice dressing and the key to it is using these nice ingredients and the salmon in some sesame seeds obviously when you pour that little dressing of it you'll get the texture of the salmon it mightn't be as kind of crusty and firm but you'll definitely get the flavor so i hope you try this recipe remember variety is i suppose a beautiful thing and try these lovely uh, different fish whether it's haddock cod um, i'm using obviously salmon trout but i think eat more fish is the key message stir fry vegetables lovely steamed rice enjoy this very very simple recipe